Okay, so before I close this up completely, I just wanted to show y'all what I did. So, we took a thin, thin piece of wood, cut it to size to go underneath the couch cushions. So, like that one. And this is going to be where we are attaching the new fabric to. So, here is the new fabric. Pretty awesome. Okay, so all I did was cut it and wrapped it around it. Um, the edges, Kenny's better at the hospital bed corners, but I kind of wrapped it like a present. I don't know. He might have to fix that for me. But anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and close this all the way up. And then I'm actually just going to staple it. I started somewhere. I don't even know where I started at. Um, started stapling. But I'm going to staple it all closed, turn it over, and it should, it should stay. Um, we'll see what it looks like, and then we'll just set it down. We'll do this one, same thing, and easy peasy. And dun 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 dun, dun. done. I'm so excited. It worked. <laughs> so my plan had been to use the staples to put the backing on. This is the back of the couch cushions. Um, but they were not working right. They were not going all the way into this wood because it's the thinner, like, fiber wood. So what we ended up doing was using tacks. Um, and I think these tacks in the long run are going to be a lot better um, and hold up because they are really, really strong. So we just pulled it really tight um, and wrapped it around the back of both of them. And it turned out really good. All right, y'all, I wanted you to see my couch all finished. Um, I do have to do the sides at the very top. I've got to put some fabric glue on them because we were just short a little bit of fabric somehow. I thought we had more than enough. Um, so we did it like when you're wrapping a Christmas present and you run out of, um, you run out of the wrapping paper. So you use another kind um, and you put it underneath. That's kind of what we did but we use the same fabric. So I just have to get fabric um, glue for that. But otherwise it's done and I just wanted to show y'all. So come check out my new couch. Look at it. It is beautiful. I absolutely love it. Kenny actually picked out, believe it or not, Kenny picked out this fabric. And I'm really, really impressed with him. So... I just wanted to show y'all we have so many projects we've been working on and I'm so excited at how much is getting done and for cheap. So when we first started talking about doing the upholstery fabric, um, we looked at pricing on it and it was, oh man, it was like $39.99 a yard and we needed four yards, uh, which turned out to be four and a half yards. So doing the math, that's, that's expensive. Um, especially when we're trying to do this as cheap as possible, uh, cause we have a lot of different things we want to do. Um, so when we went to go get this, it was on sale for 50% off. So we drove out to Hickory, uh, last Sunday morning to get it. And, uh, I said, Oh, I need four and a half yards. I think, well, it had said online that they had five yards. So what I know that from my last time, if you remember my video with the curtains, if you empty out the roll and you buy the rest of it, you get, I think it's 50% off. So I was asking for four and a half rolls. And then if there was that half a yard, I was going to say, oh, well, let me go ahead and get that too. And then get 50% off. Turns out that had exactly four and a half. So we got the discount anyways. We got four and a half yards of upholstery fabric for $56. I mean, <laughs> that's crazy. That's why we've been waiting so long to do this because it's, it was really expensive. Um, so when I say cheap, I mean cheap. The upholstery fabric, for those of you that don't know, it just holds up a lot better. It's thicker, it stretches better. Um, and for it to be a couch, we figured we needed that over just regular fabric. Um, so yeah, no sewing and cheap. There you go. Thanks for watching, y'all.